Hi again, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a new tool in Blender 2.9. Well, as I told you a couple of weeks ago, Blender has made a new update, which is basically, uh, well, there are a lot of stuff in uh, that are new in this update, one of which is uh, the AdCube tool. Uh, it, is a new it is a new tool in Blender, which allows you to, well, I'll show you. Uh, it, it uh, once you click on it, you can click somewhere and then drag, hold and drag, and then there is this rectangle here. Uh, and if I do uh, this, if I scroll, no, if I drag my mouse up and then click once, there is a cube. But uh, you can you can also make it not look exactly like it, like a cube you can make it look like this so that's basically uh, uh, all about uh, this cube uh, this uh, tool to un uh, to to unselect it just select another one of those tools uh, uh, but another thing that you need to know about the add cube tool is uh, that for instance if you select something and then go uh, press tab to go to edit mode or just object mode edit mode um, you can you you can uh, also use it uh, to add a new cube in a model for instance this model now I will add something like a backpack here so I will to like, uh, like, wait a second, I want it to be uh, here, and now, yes, this is my rectangle, and now I am dragging my mouse without clicking or holding click or anything, and I click to apply the cube. Now, this is a cube uh, that I can, that has got the Material, the selected material, the material of the first selected, uh, which is head, obviously. So this is an extension of the head. It's like when I when I created this character, it, it's like uh, I did, I went here and did this uh, edit mode and then did something like this or anything. But we know I didn't do this. I just added the new cube. So anyway, uh, I can also, uh, obviously, I can uh, adjust the dimensions of the cube as I want them, and I can go over here, and then using the X-ray tool, which I have also shown you how to use, uh, which I have also shown you how to use um, while making this. Uh, if I use it to uh, select the entire of the backpack, I can adjust the scale with the scale tool without having to move uh, uh, a fa the faces. Uh, no, not just the faces. I mean the faces uh, individually. Uh, okay. So now that I use the y-axis of the scale tool to make this a little here over his back, you know, not uh, this is fine. Uh, okay, now that I have done this, I can also do the same with those faces by using the z-axis, but I don't want to do that, so. However, if I did want to uh, mo to move one of the one of the just one of those faces uh, up, for instance, I would just select uh, apparently just the one I want to move and use the move tool to move it, not the scale tool. Use the scale tool to shrink it down or make it bigger. 
So now if I go over here to add a new material for the backpack because I don't want the head material, the head material for the backpack. So if I do like, uh, well, I shall just let it be white and then uh, nope. I have to select all the faces of the backpack and then click on assign. Now you can see that it's white. If I go to material preview, you can see that it is white. And oh yes, if you are wondering why this looks like uh, why uh, why this looks shiny or has different uh, looks like it's a different material than the one that we used in the first tutorial to create those don't worry just the screen space uh, refractions that I added here so that so that uh, this leg would be glass leg and not a uh, mirror leg So anyway, uh, that is so anyway, the, uh, that was uh, that was basically everything you need to know about uh, this tool. And now, yes, if I m select the head, you can see I select that too. And if I move the head, it's like they're one object. Okay, so obviously, uh, as, like I said, I can do anything uh, I did to any other surface so if I want for instance well if you do that be careful not to choose any of the head vertices but I delete the vertices and the mirror modifier in the y axis because this is the y axis anyway and now I can wait don't, uh, I can do like this and now something like this and you can see it obviously looks a little more like a little just a little more like a backup the backpack than it was mm, doesn't look exactly like a backpack it looks more of like a, like a, a parachute, yes. It looks m more like a parachute. Okay, I'm sorry, I just need to do this thing. Yes, that's okay now. this okay so I repeated some stuff about the mirror modifier although if you do uh, want want to watch uh, another a tutorial for the mirror modifier a full tutorial for the mirror modifier not exactly a full tutorial but a tutorial that includes using the mirror modifier then uh, the description is down below and yes that was it for this tutorial thank you for watching goodbye <laughs>